All right, so I'm sure you guys have heard of the new variant by now, the Omegatron variant. Uh, it's the Omicron variant. But uh, it is bringing a lot of worry for people. And so the truth about this is I think that the media is covering this variant very poorly. Um, and it's not doing a good job of explaining the truth about Omicron. I'm already seeing like Cornell is shutting down because of a big COVID spread amongst like a very highly vaccinated population. Um, but the truth at this point about coronavirus is the statistics about, um, you know, COVID cases, COVID deaths, COVID hospitalizations, and, co and fully vaccinated um, COVID cases, those are all statistics that don't mean anything. Um, the only things that matter are fully vaccinated COVID-19 hospitalizations and fully vaccinated COVID-19 deaths. Because what's essentially going on with Omicron now is the symptoms are way, way, way milder. It's incredibly, incredibly transmissible, but the symptoms are essentially the same of like a common cold. Uh, you might even have like a cold that's worse than what Omicron is doing. So it's really pervasive, right? It can really spread itself, but it's incredibly, incredibly weak. So, you know, it's like you get the top five symptoms were runny nose, headache, fatigue, either mild or severe sneezing and a sore throat like that. That's a cold, essentially what you're talking about. Um, and so if you are fully vaccinated so far, the evidence shows you're not going to really face anything except for mild symptoms. And so yet the experts are still warning that we have to really, uh, you know, take care and not go outside and all this stuff, make sure to mask and all this stuff. But they're not saying it because of the threat to people who are fully vaccinated. They're worried about overrunning the hospital supplies, which will be overrun solely by non-vaccinated people. So vaccines are widely available. Anybody who wants to get a vaccine same day, probably, you know, like in an hour max. Actually, you might be able to show up somewhere and get it like on the spot. Anybody who wants a COVID vaccine can get one. California is like 80% fully vaccinated. Like Cornell was like 97% vaccinated. So just because everybody's spreading around the sniffles, it doesn't mean that you should just shut down life completely. And so shutdowns have become, I guess at this point, just really, uh, I guess they've become normalized, right? But we all, it was only good to shut down because we didn't have a vaccine and we didn't have any protection against it whatsoever. It had like a 2% death rate, obviously, which is very big and it's much higher for certain groups. But now that we have the vaccine, you have protection. At this point, it feels like people who are vaccinated are suffering for the shitty behavior of people who are refusing to get vaccinated. And that simply is not fair. So what the experts are warning about this is the only thing that the experts are actually warning about. They're saying that hospitals will be overrun by unvaccinated people. Um, and so even this, like it's saying uh, hospitalizations are rising across much of the United States, leading public health officials to warn that a winter surge caused by both the Delta and Omicron variants could have devastating outcomes for the unvaccinated. They're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourselves, your families in the hospitals. You may soon overwhelm. Jeff Zients, the White House coronavirus coordinator, said at a news conference Saturday, uh, Friday. And says the nationwide hospitalizations increased by about 3%. And deaths rose by about 7% over the past week. So there are even areas like Cornell University that are very highly vaccinated that are shutting down. And it's just, it's really unfair. Um, it's been two years now. Pandemic fatigue is really setting in. And the vaccine is out. Studies have consistently showed uh, the actual ones that don't oversample vaccinated people and undersample unvaccinated people. Um, it shows you have 90% protection against infection. And quite frankly, infection is really a waste of time with the Omicron variant because these are the fucking symptoms that you get when you get the Omicron variant. This is the same as just a regular cold. So if you are fully vaccinated, you will not be going to the hospital vast majority, like 95 plus percent of the time, according to the numbers we have now, 90 plus percent of the time right now. And you certainly have a hilariously small chance of dying from this. These are your symptoms that you're going to face if you're fully vaccinated. So what experts are saying is we have to shut everything down or we have to be very careful and everything. We have to wear masks and do all this stuff. And Cornell University needs to shut down because there's a big spread. It's like, well, since when do we shut down schools for passing around the sniffles? Like, look at this shit. Runny nose, headache, fatigue, sneezing, sore throat. When did we start shutting stuff down, like going remote in school? 
um, because you have these symptoms. Are you serious right now? And so I think largely it has to do with media being bullshit and chasing clicks and having a headline like Fauci saying, you know, um, Omicron's going to overtake Delta variant. Like, no shit, Sherlock. It's way more transmissible, but it's way weaker. Why aren't you including that in the headline? Say symptoms are much milder. Um, and this is typically, you know, uh, this is okay. I'm not gonna say typically, this is what should happen. You want in a situation like this, COVID is not just going to disappear off the face of the planet. Okay. There's something you have to deal with, but this is ideal. You have a COVID strain that causes runny nose, headache, fatigue, sneezing, and sore throat. It's not out here causing, uh, you know, like lung collapsing and, and breathing issues and shit like that. So this is what you want. Cause you can actually get herd immunity from something so mild. And so many people already have the vaccine. And if you're trying to shut everything down, like even the masking is just annoying at this point because it's like vaccines are readily available. Why should people who are responsible and have been fully vaccinated be forced to subsidize the shitty behavior from people who are unvaccinated? It just doesn't make any sense. So at this point, you don't shut stuff down. You have to figure out how to punish people who are not vaccinated because it's really... I don't want to have to bend over backwards because unvaccinated dipshits are filling up the hospitals and the ERs and the ICUs. Like, that's not my fault. Why should I have to alter my behavior to a significant detriment? Wearing a mask, significant detriment at this point. You know, things being shut down, schools going remote. It's just, it's really shitty. And it's been a long time now. And the vaccine is readily available. Lots and lots of protection from the from the disease. And now if you catch Omegatron, you're going to be sneezing. Like, wow, holy crap. When do we shut down society for that? Um, even like wearing a mask. Like that's something you do to go to like the ER or something like that. You like vomit or something. But anyways, it's just unfair that people like myself who have gotten fully vaccinated are going to have to be subjected to all these regulations because diphthongs are not getting vaccinated. Because the hospitalization is the only concern, and it's only hospitalization for unvaccinated people. So all these headlines that run, oh, COVID cases jump. Uh, it's like, so what? So what? You get a fucking, look at these symptoms. So what? That's that's a good thing that COVID cases are surging, because then you can get, you can get immunity and you can get herd immunity from this little shit. Um, instead of having to deal with the wor even worse COVID strain that ends up coming out. So... That's pointless because your symptoms are nothing. The vaccine is not some kind of uh, shot that's going to turn your, your you know, just make you just a Greek god and you'll never catch coronavirus. Although it's largely done that up to this point, 90% protection. It's hard to catch COVID with the vaccine. Now, o Omegatron is changing that. But look at the symptoms. Look at the symptoms. So... Ultimately, you have to figure that out. The only thing to worry about here is unvaccinated hospitalizations. The only stats that matter, fully vaccinated hospitalizations and fully vaccinated deaths. If those start going up, then you have to really do shit because then it's like, oh, it's actually really dangerous at that point.